Nate G219 here, the hell but back and better, May 31st. I'm just going to do a quick video today. First of all, I want to thank you, Ian Bick. He, uh, he got back to me and uh, invited me to his podcast. So I'm going to get my ass out to New York. Got to work up some funding to get that. You know, times aren't easy for anybody right now. But uh, I'm not going to whine about that. You know, there's a lot of us prison content creators. And uh, my whole point of uh, calling Ian and JD out wasn't any disrespect whatsoever. I think most people know that. A lot of you can say I'm chasing clout. That's okay. I'm just trying to get my channel noticed. There, there's only a couple ways to do that. So Ian got back to me. He invited me to his podcast. So going to make plans and get my butt to New York. And I'm going to do that real soon. So got vacation time. I can do that. But, you know, I started this journey after, after watching some, um, I think the first one I had first YouTuber I'd seen doing prison content was either uh, Lockdown 23 and One Josh or um, After Prison Show Joe. He's got his channel now, Joe Does Stuff. He pretty much is done telling the prison stories. At least for now, I'm sure he's got some something up his sleeve. He's always doing something. But then my boy Chad, man, blood on the razor wire. When I first heard him, and, and what he was doing with his channel and what he's doing with his life, helping people, helping people get out of prison. I know a lot of people that deserve to get out of prison, and I I felt that I, I should be doing the same thing because I had, had met people that had touched my life's life, changed my life for the better completely, and they didn't even know it. My boy Ronald Sanford, Ariel, you know, like everybody knows, he was never going to come home. He had a 170-year sentence. He now comes home next year. May even be sooner than that once other things happen. Now I'm working on my boy Cletus. I'm going to be telling you his story from his words. So it's no third-person narrative. Um, I'm going to read his story from his letter on how he got caught up into this bullcrap that led him in to his very lengthy prison sentence from an 18 year old kid. And remember, they came to high school and arrested him. I mean, I've been there. I got arrested at school, man. That's just no, especially you went from high school to prison, straight from high school to prison. No. I'm not okay with that, especially with the events that put him there, that jackass that put the gun in his hand. So, me collaborating with another YouTuber is just bringing more attention to my channel. A lot of people can call it clout chasing. I don't care. Uh, that may be what it is. That's okay. In order for a channel to grow, it's got to be noticed. And in order for be no, to be noticed, somebody has to help you sometimes. Sometimes you got to have that viral video. I haven't quite had one yet. Um, but we're working on it. I mean, you know, I do have 350 subscribers. That's 350 people that are listening to me. And I thank each and every one of you. But... Like I said, today's story was going to be just a real quick one. And uh, again, thank you, Ian Big. But JD, I'm still calling you out. We want this convict cook-off. I got a couple people telling me a convict cook-off is a great idea. Get us all together, together because I think I would smoke you death. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play with Chad. I think me and Chad can compete with each other. Um, but death, you did tattoos. That was your hustle. Cooking was mine. JD, you ate and worked out. You made other people cook the food, so you know you did. Ian, I believe you cooked. 
I actually know you probably pay people to cook too, but that's all good. I'd have been the cook. So, uh, my trip to New York, it will be coming soon. And, um, hit that like and subscribe. If you want to help try to get me to New York, man, hit that cash app. Popped it up on the screen. Uh, you know, if they ain't hating it, you ain't making it.